What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Old School Skaters and now we transition into our werewolf movie. So we're very excited to talk about our 30 day, uh, 31 days of Halloween and our werewolf movies and where we're going to start with The Wolfman. Uh, wow, this is just an iconic movie. 1941, um, Lon Chaney, again some of the biggest actors from the previous monster movies were in there. You had uh, Claude Rains, you had uh, Bela Lugosi, uh, you know just a really great werewolf movie and this is kind of where the werewolf you know kind of started like there were other movies before this but the reality is this is where the the genre really took off and shined and i think even more from the earlier classic monster movies from universal you know the the dracula's the bride of frankenstein the you know frankenstein movies even the invisible man um this one has a real sense of humanity to it which i think was a lot different the invisible man i think did a fairly good job of that but the sense of humanity with you know our main character uh, you know, portrayed by Lon Chaney Jr., Larry Talbot's character, comes through in this movie like crazy. And I was thinking about, you know, what are the best scares in there? And I think in this movie, uh, what's very interesting is uh, it really comes from the, the sense of the unknown, right? The, the loss of control over, over your faculties and your body and your being. Where Dracula was evil and Frankenstein was kind of built by somebody else, uh, Lon Chaney is just a victim of a curse. Um, and he can't really do anything about it, right? So I think that's probably the most frightening part of this movie i mean if i think about individual scenes there's two things that stand out to me in this movie as a kid i'm not gonna lie to you like crap my pants the the werewolf transformation and again it's just time-lapse photography but wow back then that was just amazing and then we'll talk about some other movies later on that just blew that out of the water but what a great setup and uh, i think it just did a really good job and then the other thing i would say is there's that scene in the fortune teller where she sees the pentagram on uh on larry talbot's hand and knows that he's cursed and again there's a ton of humanity i don't want to blow anything in this movie uh i try to not give spoilers but there's that sense of dread and humanity because he's a good person he hasn't really done anything to deserve uh the curse that he has and i think that's what sets a, sets the werewolf movies aside in most werewolf movies um most of the people are victims uh and i guess the vampire movies kind of have a similar trope but i feel like in the werewolf movies it really is more of a curse than in the vampire movies and i think the wolfman just does an outstanding job of that now, our next movie is way different, and I look forward to sharing it with you. It was a movie as a kid that was one of my favorites, and again, it's very hard to find, but we're going to talk about next is we're going to talk about I Was a Teenage Werewolf, uh, sorry, Michael London. I look forward to sharing that one with you. So as always, stay scary, check out these great Halloween movies, and we'll talk to you soon.